before the video starts, today's shout out winner goes to Ethan Spams L2. If you guys want a chance to win a shout out in the next video, drop a like and a comment down below, subscribe with notifications on, and I will pick somebody randomly that will be shouted out in my next video. I hope you guys enjoy. Yo, what's going on guys? Satsuki here. Our first story is very, very serious guys. Now I'm just gonna break it down. A long story short, you know, a member in 7-7 clan who goes by the name Barry, something very unfortunate happened to him last night, and basically, last night, Barry was abused and his stepdad came into his room and completely destroyed his gaming setup guys. Last night 77 Barry tweeted out saying, never talked publicly about my child abuse, hashtag pray for Barry. And he also posted a short video on Twitter and I will play it for you guys right now. Police are outside right now. You see what happens? Rose Barry's not good right now. Like so really unfortunate stuff guys and as you guys saw his setup is completely destroyed his gaming monitor is smashed and after that 77 Barry tweeted out saying on the verge of offing myself I really hope Barry didn't do anything to himself if anyone watching this video has contact with Barry please go make sure he is safe right now because he is so young and he has his whole life in front of him Barry also uploaded a short video on YouTube entitled goodbye I love you all and I will play it for you guys right now hey what's up guys it's Barry here um, I didn't want this to be my first in her live video, but, um, it's the end. I hit 15,000. Um, I'm, so, I'm sorry. Okay, um, all my stuff's gone. I don't have the money to replace it. Um, my stepfather, he came in and he's, he, he broke everything. I'm not gonna say it's situation, but, um, I, this is the end. Five years of my life, I put everything I had into YouTube. All the money, this is what it went to. Just going back. It, it's gone. I don't know if I'll be back, but... <laughs> I love you all so much. Thank you so much for everything I've done. You've made my life the better. I can't, I can't even imagine where I'd be right now if I didn't have support from all of you. All 15,000 of you, you're amazing. You're absolutely amazing. <laughs> but I think this is the end, boys. Thank you so much for all your support. <laughs> So as you guys heard, he did say that his stepdad did all of this. He also did say he put 5 years of work into YouTube and building a setup, you know. And his stepfather came in and broke everything in a snap of a finger. And I feel very bad for Barry right now, you know. Also with the platform I have, I think we can help out Barry. In the description of his video, he posted a Streamlabs link. And if any of you guys watching this video are in the position to donate to Barry, I would strongly recommend you guys do so because I'm sure Barry would greatly appreciate it. You know, let's help out Barry and let's get him back on his feet. I will leave Barry Barry's donation link in that description down below and you know Barry has about 15k subscribers he makes great content and he has so much potential guys also 77 Nobu who is the founder of 77 clan replied to Barry by saying in your bio you say 15,000 wish I could have gone further thing is you don't have to wish that it will happen eventually it's not your time Barry just have some time to think don't let negative thoughts pass your head and I completely agree with Nobu here guys Barry is an amazing content creator and I think he just needs some time to think right now you know and and also guys, Barry hasn't tweeted in over 15 hours and the last tweet he liked was 17 hours ago. So once again, if anyone watching this video has any contact with Barry, please go make sure you're safe right now. And also, Barry also said this in the description of his YouTube video. And it reads, I never talked about the mental and physical abuse of my stepdad, but now everything I have is gone and I don't have the money to pay for it. I ran away from home barefoot to avoid being beaten senseless. I'm sorry everyone. So I hope everything is good with Barry right now and once again, I'll I will leave Barry's donation link in the description down below. Please guys, please, if you are in the position to donate, please do so. Because Barry needs our help right now. Hashtag pray for Barry you know, and let's help him get back on his feet. And now guys, let's get right into the juicy stuff. Our next story is pretty mind blowing guys. This one's coming from Symphony and Brooke. Now I'm sure most of you guys know who they are, but if you don't, Symphony is a pro Fortnite player for NRG, Symphony is also a well known streamer on Twitch, and then Brooke, well she is also a streamer, and she is Symphony's girlfriend and let me tell you guys Brooke is not happy at all now just a little backstory on this there are so many channels on youtube like fortnite records fortnite first fortnite family fortnite empire and some of the content these channels post is just absolutely biblical like just look at this title guys Brooke ab reveals her and symphony slept in bed together and it got weird fortnite cute couple like what i can't believe people actually go out of their ways search up symphony and Brooke on youtube and literally watch these videos 
videos. Like, do people actually care that Brooke finally meets Symphony in real life and saw his bed? Fortnite cute couple. You can't forget that, guys. You cannot forget Fortnite cute couple. If you forget Fortnite cute couple in the title, what what's the point, right? Like, what is the point if you don't include Fortnite cute couple? Like, this guy's channel is literally dedicated to Symphony and Brooke. Pretty insane stuff, right? And Brooke even tweeted about this. She said, It's honestly disgusting some of the stuff that clickbait channels put out there. And obviously, Brooke is referring to all those Fortnite channels I just showed you guys. She also said, To clear things up, I'm not talking about videos of Mason and I. And obviously, Mason is Symphony. I'm talking about videos like these. Saying I would flirt with a 14 year old is gross, disgusting, and too far. And Brooke also shows a screenshot of a video Fortnite Empire posted entitled, Symphony Outraged, as Brooke flirts with dirty 14 year old kid absolutely insane right guys and that is just too far and these fortnite channels are making so much money guys it's biblical to say the least and many people are agreeing with brooke in their replies phase avery said it sucks you guys pay these cum buckets rents just for them to slander slash twist things phase thief replied with also discussing how much money most of them make too but you know guys hopefully these fortnite channels can come to an end soon because some of the stuff they post is just beyond my comprehension level you know our next topic is coming from nova and holy guys Nova is getting stacked. If you guys don't know, recently FaZe Avery also ended up joining Nova. Clex and Skeptic also ended up joining Nova recently. And Skeptic and Avery are huge YouTubers. I'm sure most of you guys know who they are. They both have over 1 million subscribers. And about 2 days ago, the Nova Twitter tweeted out saying, If any signed slash not signed pro slash content creators want to join Nova, DM Shaw. We are not an organization. We provide no contracts. And we do not hold back people from joining an org if they get an offer. We are are simply a clan slash team built to create content and grow together so yes guys you heard it here first nova is not an organization it is just for fun you guys don't have to worry about contracts and all that business stuff nova is like a family you know i'm not even gonna lie guys nova has the potential to be bigger than a beat in my opinion guys like let's take everything into consideration nova has about 40k subscribers on youtube their first ever fortnite team touch has almost 300k views and to top it off they have huge influencers in the team like you have Ghost X, Faze Avery, Ghost Shaw, Hard Find, Click, Skeptic, Iron U, Ghost Issa, Razor X, and the list just goes on and on. So yes, in my opinion, if Nova just keeps this up, they can easily be bigger than Evade. By the end of the summer, I guarantee you guys Nova will hit 100k subscribers on YouTube, and most likely close to 200k subscribers by the end of the year. Now you might argue that Evade has better pro players, but I'm sure if Nova ever wants to head into that direction, they can easily do it. They have the connections, you know. So if Nova ever gets to a point where it will be an organization, I'm sure Nova will have no problem doing that and also guys a few hours ago the nova twitter tweeted out saying who's next rc video sunday so yes guys the nova rc is going up tomorrow i would strongly recommend you guys all grinding for this this is a great opportunity and you should definitely take advantage of it and speaking of nova one of the leaders derek made some pretty questionable tweets a couple days ago just take a look at what derek tweeted out saying i see how stuff really is you only got yourself for real it was a good run lamau seven years sheesh Peace Peace out bros, keep it real always. I wish I had clips to make a goodbye video, god damn it. Every clip I got the past few weeks were like this, I'll probably just talk to you guys one last time on stream or something. Everything happens for a reason. So holy guys, judging by those tweets, it does seem like Derek wants to quit doing all this gaming stuff. You know he does have over 50k subscribers, and it does suck he's having these thoughts. But honestly guys, I think Derek just had a bad day, and maybe he'll just take a little break, because it would really suck if he actually quit. Derek has a lot of potential you know. Before we move on. I want to see who made it this far into the video. So if you are hearing this right now, comment down below right now and tell me what your favorite video game of all time is. I just want to see who's a real one and who actually watches my videos. But now back to the good stuff. Our next story is absolutely insane guys. Now this one's coming from Tifu. A couple days ago he tweeted out saying, who is this guy? I'm trying to make some quality vlog content with him. And Tifu shows a screenshot of literally a guy who looks exactly like Tifu. Just take a look at him guys. He is literally Tifu's 20 no. And the guy who looks like Tifu said, No kids, I'm not Tifu. After being stopped for a photo for the thousandth time, I feel obligated to tell the world. Insane, right guys? I don't know about you guys, but if I was him and I looked exactly like Tifu, I would literally start streaming right then and there. Just imagine the type of content this guy can make. Our last story is pretty cool, guys. This one's coming from the Obey Alliance. Now, I originally thought Obey ended after Immortals bought out Infinite Esports in that whole situation. However, it does seem like Obey bounced back. Now, just a little backstory on this. 
about two weeks ago, I made a video talking about how a parallel leader kicked four members for an unjustified reason, and long story short guys, allegedly, Parallel Summit kicked four members because they weren't pulling views, and you guys can go watch my video on that if you don't know what's happening. However, yesterday, Delusive, Bruce, and Bojan all joined the Obey Alliance. The official Obey Twitter tweeted out saying, Welcome the three newest members to Obey. Obey Delusive, Obey Bruce, and Obey Bojan. So yeah guys, I'm very happy for them. They all deserve it. And if you guys don't know, Delusive literally denied FaZe Clan just so he can stay in parallel with his friends. And after Delusive showed all that loyalty to parallel, the leader still decided to drop him. But nonetheless, be sure to congratulate these guys on joining Obey. But that's all the news for today guys. If you guys happen to enjoy the video, drop a like and a comment. And if you want to be kept updated with everything that happens, make sure to subscribe with notifications on. Okay, peace.